Hey there, fellow explorers. Welcome to my channel, where I take you on a journey to discover the hidden gems of the world. Today, we're diving into the mesmerizing and multilingual city of London, with over 300 languages spoken. London is the ultimate melting pot, where cultures collide and create a vibrant and eclectic atmosphere. It's like a never-ending party where everyone is invited, and the dress code is as diverse as the people. London is truly a city that never fails to surprise and delight its visitors. So what are you waiting for? Hop and join us as we explore some of the London's hidden gems that most unaware tourists end up missing, and some of the must-visit attractions. You can also follow this countdown with our timeline below. First up, we have the Leighton House Museum, located in Holland Park. It's the perfect spot for art enthusiasts looking for some Victorian-style inspiration. The museum was once the home of the artist Frederick, Lord Leighton, and is now a treasure trove of art and design. Plus, the Arab Hall will make you feel like a sultan stepping into a palace. You might even feel tempted to break out into song and dance, but maybe save that for the privacy of your own home. The hall is a stunning example of Orientalist design and will transport you to another world. The Leighton House Museum is a must-visit for anyone interested in art, design, and culture. Next, we're heading to Little Venice, where the Regent's Canal meets the Grand Union Canal. It's a picturesque spot that's often overlooked by tourists. It's like a hidden oasis in the middle of the city, where you can sip on some tea while admiring the narrow boats and charming houses. And if you're lucky, you might even spot some ducks or swans enjoying the water. Now, let's visit the Dennis Severs house in Spitalfields. It's a time capsule that'll take you back to the 18th century with authentic period furniture and decor. This is a unique museum that offers visitors a glimpse into the daily life of a Huguenot silk weaver family. You might even feel like you're part of the family that just stepped out for a moment. But don't get too comfortable, or you might end up doing the dishes or helping with the laundry. It's a fascinating and immersive experience that will transport you back in time. Our next hidden gem is the Sir John Soane's Museum in Hoban. It's a treasure trove for architecture and design aficionados, with an impressive collection of antiquities, drawings, and paintings. It's like taking a trip back in time to explore the elegance of a 19th century townhouse. But be warned, you might develop a sudden urge to redecorate your own home in a neoclassical style. Up next, we have the Brixton Windmill, where you can escape the hustle and bustle of the city and enjoy some stunning views from the top. The windmill was built in 1816 and was used to grind corn until the early 20th century. Visitors can take a guided tour of the windmill and learn about its history and restoration. It's a breath of fresh air and an excellent opportunity to snap some Instagram-worthy photos. But be prepared for some windblown hair and potential selfie stick mishaps. Now, let's explore the old operating theatre museum and Herb Garrett, located in the attic of St. Thomas's Church. It's a fascinating museum that offers a glimpse into the history of medicine and surgery. Don't worry, you won't have to volunteer as a patient. The museum features a collection of surgical instruments, anatomical models, and other medical artifacts. It's a fascinating and sometimes gruesome reminder of how far we've come in the field of medicine. Our next hidden gem is the Highgate Cemetery, located in North London. It is a peaceful and atmospheric spot that's the final resting place of many famous figures, including Karl Marx and George Eliot. It's like strolling through history and paying respects to the legends who shaped our world. Just be respectful of the surroundings and avoid disturbing any ghosts or spirits. Now, let's brighten things up with God's own junkyard. This neon wonderland is located in Walthamstow and is home to some of the most stunning neon signs you'll ever see. It's like a neon rainbow exploded in a warehouse, and we love it. The handmade neon signs are true works of art and will make you feel like you've stepped into a sci-fi movie. Our penultimate stop is Pollock's Toy Museum. If you're a fan of toys, you'll love this charming and nostalgic spot. With a collection of toys from the 18th century to the present day, it's like traveling back in time and reliving those cherished moments of playtime. Who says toys are just for kids? You'll definitely have fun in this museum. Finally, we have the Horniman Museum and Gardens. It's like a one-stop shop for all things about anthropology and natural history. The collection of musical instruments from around the world is impressive, and the surrounding gardens are a breathtaking sight. And let's not forget the animal enclosure it's like a mini zoo, but without the hassle of the crowd. Wow, that was a whirlwind tour of London's hidden gems. Whether you're a first-time visitor or a seasoned Londoner, I hope this video has inspired you to explore some new places and create unforgettable memories in this incredible city. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more adventures. And if you like this video, check out our top 10 cities of Victoria, British Columbia. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.